we left the last video with a default page of Django. So we're gonna take it up from there and develop the app up to the stage where we can input data using the admin. All right, so to start this server, I will open the terminal. And if you are a Windows user, you will open PowerShell. So in Linux, I'm gonna use terminal. So to navigate to my application or the project I started developing the last video, I'm gonna do CD Django apps, YouTube, then VENV. So from this folder, I can now activate the environment by typing source being activated. All right, so I'm gonna navigate to SRC where I have my source code. So from here, I can now start um, a Django application. Before starting the application, I will open Sublime. If you have not installed Sublime yet, please install it. We want to have our source folder displayed like this. All right, so if you are opening Sublime for the first time, you'll have to go to File, Open Folder. Then you navigate to where you have your project, the Django project. So in my case, I'm gonna go to Django Apps, YouTube, then I'll open VENV, and I'm gonna click on the SRC and click Open. All right, so that will um, open the project in these three format. From here, I can expand the project and see all the files within this folder. All right, so we're gonna create an app, and I'm gonna call my app stock mgmt all right so we will use the django command to create an app so to do that i'm gonna go to terminal and type python manage.py start up then the name of the app will follow so my app name will be stock mgmt enter here you can see we have the stock mgmt app and if I expand it, we will have uh, admin.py, apps.py, models.py, test and views. Today we're gonna look at the models.py. And this is where we create all the tables that are related to this application, right? So any model that we create here will be created in the database as a table. So the first model that we're gonna create or the first table will be the stock table, the table that will contain all the stock. All right so now that is the code i have right here but before doing that i'm gonna make so i have uh this stock mgnt application set up in the settings file all right so this will allow me uh, use commands like make migration and migrate to be able to uh, um, update the database of this application all right so now i'm gonna go to the settings file you can find the settings file from Django project, then you'll see settings.py, and inside settings.py, you will have install apps. So right in install apps is where you're gonna type the name of the app that you just created. All right, so the app name is stock MGMT. So I'm gonna save this, and then go back to models, then I'll go to the blog, and then copy this code right here, class copy and paste it in models.py all right so now this is gonna be our table the table will be called stock in the table we'll have field called category item name quantity received quantity received by issue quantity and so on so these will be the field names in the stock table all right so now before creating this table in the database I'm gonna open the SQLite browser so that we look at the database content before modifying it. So I'm gonna click on open database, navigate to where I have my application, the project that I'm working on, and I can find it on the YouTube, then VENV, SRC, and that's the database. I'm gonna double click on it or click it and then select open. Right, so now if we take a look at this database, we cannot see a table called stock. So we have the art group, we have the art group permission, the art permission, but we don't have the stock table yet. So this is what we want to create. 
if I head back to the terminal, I'm going to type Python manage.py, make migration. Here you can see create model stock. This make migration command will create a script that will be used to post or to create the table in the database. All right. So now this script is right here in migrations folder. You'll have this 0001 initial.py. If you open it, the make migration command that we just run created this script. And this script is going to be used to create the table in the database. And here the table will be called stock and it will have this field. So I'm going to close this. Make sure you don't modify any line in that script. Okay, so now I will head back to terminal and then type Python manager py migrate. Enter. So when I do that, it's gonna take that script and create a table in the database. So I'll head back to the database and then reopen it. And now you can see we have the stock table. The name will be the name of the app underscore the table. So you can see we have it right here. And if I expand this, you can see we have all the fields that we defined in the models to py. It will add an ID to it by default, all right? So this is how to create a table in Django. So before we end this tutorial, we want to make sure we can input data um, in this table using the admin, all right? So now if I start the app by typing uh, manage.py or Python manage.py run server, and then open the application doing slash admin you will be able to log into the admin portal we don't have the option to interact with the table that we just created so now we do that by registering that model in the admin.py file all right so now if i head back to sublime so right here you have admin.py so this is where you register all the models to be displayed in the admin portal right so if you go back to this site or the blog site you will do an import from the models import a stock table all right or the stock model and then register it in the admin portal all right so we will import from the models import stock right from model import stock this means we're going to look into the models the py file and then import any class that is called stock right so we just did that and then the next line is to register this stock inside admin all right so if i save it and then refresh the admin portal you can see stock just displayed and if i click on the stock we can now click on add stock and we can fill this form. We have a category called IT equipment and then the item name will be, let's say keyboard. You have a quantity as one and then click save. Okay, so you can see we have one stock object, but now we want to display the name of the item that we have in the table right but our application is not built to show that to do that we're gonna head back to models to py create a function underscore underscore str open bracket self and now we're gonna return self dot item name okay so if i save it and then refresh you can see now we, we are displaying the name of the item all right so that is what this function is doing for us all right okay so now if you want to display both the name and the quantity we're gonna do some concatenation self dot quantity if I want to concatenate the name of the item and also the quantity, 
these two are different data types like the name is a string you can see it is a character field and the quantity is an integer field it will throw an error like if i save it and then try to refresh the page i'm gonna have an error all right so now to fix this i'm gonna convert this to a string an str save it and then refresh you can see we'll have keyboard and one but now we want to put a space in between it can concatenate a space again and then refresh you can see we have keyboard and one so now if you have more stocks and their quantity will be displayed right in here so in the future videos we will see how to style this um, admin portal so that it looks great but in this video we just want to see that we can add data we can also click on the keyboard and then edit it like if i want to change the quantity to maybe five i can do that and then click on save from the admin portal i can also select the keyboard and then select delete from here and then click go and if i click yes it will be deleted from the database so you can see how powerful django can be with just a little amount of coding this is how to create a table in django and also how to register it in the admin so that we can work with the data if you enjoyed this video please click on the like button if you have any comments put them in the comments below See you in the next video.